बता रही हूँ मैं ご主人。ご主人、やられたようです。ね、さんも私と同じね。親も友々縁あってこうして人ったんだから。だから私はどんなことがあっても死んではいけない。だから私はゴジラですよね。Hey guys, how you doing? It's Benner from Black Font Distro, and I'm here back with another movie review. Um, this is just something I just started doing because I was seeing so many films in the theater, and I wanted to talk about them and just let you guys know sort of like which ones I've seen and which ones are worth checking out. So these are non-spoiler reviews. Uh, we're not going to get into any spoilers, uh, and we're just going to talk about the film real quick and check it out. So this is obviously for Godzilla Minus One. Lots of buzz on the, uh, on the horizon on this one. Of course, lots of people talking about it online. Uh, this is sort of the return of Godzilla. This is the return of a big scale monster movie. And man, let me tell you something right now. The word on the street is that this movie was made for less than $15 million. And uh, Hollywood, you're on notice, man. You got to check this guy out. Uh, of course, the director of this film, who um, also did, I think, a lot of the special effects, uh, Takashi Yamasaki. Uh, he has done something really, really quite remarkable with this film, and ha he, he's restored the big-scale monster movie to actually mean something. And how he's done that is he's done a couple of really, really interesting things. One, the film is set, it's a period piece. It's set just after World War II in Japan, and of course takes place over the next couple of years as you kind of meet these characters and they and you grow with them, you learn how they, they sort of become... Uh, connected and then of course you know big bad godzilla shows up and starts and starts doing his thing but i gotta tell you something right now this movie has no reason to look this good and to be this good for however much money they had to make it um let's say it's 15 million dollars um it's phenomenal so go and check it out it's not going to be for everyone but if you like big monster movies if you like godzilla movies go and see this flick on the biggest screen that you can i did not see it in imax i totally regret it and i'll probably have to go and see it again because this movie um it's just it's monstrous in scope and in sound but it also feels really really insulated and very contained in sort of like this family sort of uh, uh this this sort of they're not really a family, but they're a family by by association. They're a, fa a family of circumstance, not necessarily a family by blood. So it's really interesting to see kind of how these characters sort of interact. Um, the film itself feels super big. Um, and when Godzilla finally shows up, um, he, he is like he's a force to be reckoned with. There's a, some very cool scenes in this movie that I, I was blown away by uh, just the visual uh, of them and hearing them and seeing them on the screen was absolutely mind blowing. And I highly recommend that, uh, that uh, um, you, you, go and have that experience at the theater as well. So I will say this, the characters were great. I've already kind of talked about that a little bit, but at, at the same time, I feel like this film feels like an old school Spielberg movie. And I'm not talking about Jurassic Park. I know that's the obvious, the, the obvious, com obvious comparison. Um, I'm talking about like his older films, uh, Jaws, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, those films uh, it really has a sense uh, that this film kind of, um, it, it, I feel it's inspired by those movies, but it's not trying to emulate them. And that is such a big uh, uh, change of what I've seen in like, you know, everyone wants to be Spielberg. Everyone wants to make, um, you know, Jurassic Park or, or ET or whatever. Um, and I really do feel like this filmmaking team has, has done something uh, quite rare, uh, which is kind of using something uh, as a, uh, as and being a, as an influence but not trying to create a carbon copy of it and i cannot tell you how refreshing that is uh, godzilla uh the monster itself like the special effects you can tell that they're not necessarily uh made with 200 million bucks in the bank and that's okay because i'll forgive that a little bit if the story's there and if i actually feel something at the end of the movie and come out of it and going 
wow, that was actually a cool movie. I'm really glad I went to see that. So for me, um, I highly recommend this film. Make sure you go and check it out on the biggest screen that you can and uh, support these films that are coming out that are actually trying to do something different and trying to do something new. This film, again, made for probably less than 50 million bucks. It's done, I think, 50 million already uh, at the box office. Um, it's not gone into a wide release in North America. I'm sure it will, especially with the Christmas season coming up and the holiday season. This is a movie you want to go and see on Christmas Day. This is a movie you want to go and see on Boxing Day. You want to get out of the house. You're full of turkey. You've opened up your presents. You want to go and check out a really cool film this is the one to go and see. So Godzilla minus one. Um, there's a really, really interesting uh, uh, sort of backstory or explanation of the movie's title. It's not what you think. I'm not going to say it here because I said no spoilers at the start. But after you see the movie, uh, look into that because it's very, very, very interesting. Um, I think they've got a new franchise here. Obviously, this was made by the legendary movie studio Toho, which obviously has made all of the previous Godzilla movies. I'm not a Godzilla uh, expert i don't know how many movies have come before this but i think there's been about 30 or something like that but this is the start of a new franchise and i gotta tell you um i went with my buddy to see this film uh, a couple days ago and i couldn't remember if i'd ever seen sort of like a big scale uh action movie or big sort of spectacle movie uh, a foreign movie like this uh, in the theater i'm trying to rack my brain of course i've seen foreign films in the theater before <laughs> Uh, with subtitles and and you know usually they're like Oscar uh, uh, movies in sort of that 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 realm. So you don't really get the kind of the big spectacle blockbuster monster flick. Um, I can't remember. I couldn't remember anything. I, and I still I'm still trying to think of it. I don't think I ever have. So it was very interesting to see a film um, from you know another part of the world uh, in a sort of a North American in a Canadian movie theater. Um, and kind of seeing how different it feels. And I got to say, like, there was a lot of throwbacks to the original Godzilla movies um, that I thought were, that were really, um, I just thought they were well-placed. And then I, th and I just thought that they were, they were fairly timeless um, to, to, you know, create something new that I think was going to last a long, long time. I really do feel like this is the bar uh, for Godzilla movies. Um, and, uh, I do feel like this is, this is one of the best monster movies I've seen in a long time. I don't want to overhype it. Okay. It's not the greatest movie I've ever seen, but it does deliver on the promise that's, uh, that was in the trailer. We're going to show the trailer one more time, just so everyone can check, take a look at it uh, again. But, uh, listen, Hey, if you need something to do this holiday season, you want to go see a cool flick, go and see Godzilla minus one. It's in theaters now. We'll see you next time. ただいまね。ご両親。苦しゅでやられたようです。兄さんも私と同じね。親子ともどもええなんてこうして引き取ったんだから。だから私はどんなことがあっても死んではいけない。銀座を襲ったあいつ。落とし方こちらですよねあんなもん倒せるかありません東京がまた火の海になるのは見たくない戦争が終わってないんです今度の戦いは未来を生きるための戦いなんです ゴジラマイナスワン